Arturia have released a cool little lo-fi plugin called Tape Mellofy, and this is kind of based on the tape mechanism in the classic Mellotron instrument. It looks pretty straightforward and easy to use, so let's see what it can bring to our tracks, and if you grab this before December 31st, 2021, you can get it for free. If you're watching this after that date, sorry you missed out. It's still a great plugin. Now let's check it out. I created this quick little lo-fi beat so we could test this plugin on it, and you can see I have it on every single track in this project. There's only four tracks. So let's give it a listen all together and then I'll go through the individual tracks and we'll go through the settings of Tape Mellofy. All right, so that is Tape Mellify on every single track. Let's take it off of everything so you can hear what it sounds like with it off. It sounds all right. It's just really digitally clean, and I like to dirty things up with these lo-fi plugins. So now let's go through and see what I've done here. And I'm going to start with this drum track because that's what I started this project with was the drum track. So let's solo this and we'll give it a listen. So that's tape mellify on the drums. It's uh, this cassette 808 kit from BPB. It's a free drum kit. I like using this for my lo-fi beats. It's a very easy plug-in to load up and it even has multi-output mode on it. But back into Archuria's Tape Mellify. So you can see it's kind of broken down into three different sections. You have your preamp section here, your tape section, and you have your output section over here, plus a couple of things down here. So let's start with this preamp section. You have your drive knob and under it is this boost button. So if you press the boost, it boosts the drive even more. So if you're going for that kind of electric guitar distortion, really, really distorted, you would want this boost button clicked and turn that drive up. So let's just check that out now. And then you have tone and that's disabled by default. You could turn it on here and let's just mess around with that. And you have noise and this kind of adds some of that old school tape noise onto your tracks. You can hear when we boost it up. That's what it sounds like. And the tone knob actually affects the noise as well. So if you want ultra lo-fi, crank this thing up, adjust the tone as you need, and let's put the boost on and hear what this sounds like. That's some ultra lo-fi right there. I'm going to turn that back down. I'm going to take the tone off and the boost. Now let's look at the tape section. And over here you have wear. And this is with old tape, it used to wear out. The more you use tape, the more it wore out. And this kind of adds that worn out tape effect. The more you add, the more worn out your tape is. So let's hear that. I actually don't mind that right there. That's pretty good. And then you have your wow and flutter settings. And that's kind of when the tape kind of speeds up and slows down and wobbles a little bit like that. So we'll look at those settings on another instrument where it will be more pronounced. But another cool thing in here is this tape stop effect. 
and you can set it for however many bars you want the tape stop effect to go for, but let's just test it out. So you can hear it does that slow down and then when you press it again, it does the kind of gradual speed up. So if you were to automate this, you could get that tape stop and tape start effect very easily. And then of course you have your output level knob right here. So you can adjust the level going out from the plugin and you have a very nice filter here. So you have low pass this side, high pass that side. We'll just give it a listen. pretty straightforward. Now, one thing I skipped over was this mechanics knob. And what this does is brings that noise of this spinning wheel here into your audio. So we crank it up. You can hear that rotor of this spinning wheel here. So if you really want to get some cool lo-fi sounds, you could add that on there. That's actually pretty cool right there. If you're going for a real lo-fi sound, that, that actually sounds all right like that. Now let's move on to another track that we've got going on here. And we'll go to the bass guitar. I really like this bass guitar that I came up with here. And here's the settings. Let's give it a listen. Yeah, so that's what's going on. Not a whole lot. I might add some more drive to this, maybe some wear. Yeah, that's all right right there. Let's just listen to it all together. actually like that right there. So I showed you all of the settings up for the wow and flutter, which I'm going to show you on the next track, which is our piano up here. And this is the Archuria stage 73 V2 E piano plugin. Very cool plugin. Thought I'd go with an Archuria instrument for this Archuria effect. All right, now let's give this a bit of a listen. I'm just going to turn it up here. You can hear it's very clean without the tape mellow-fi on there. Now let's just play with some of the settings and come up with a nice lo-fi sound. So now let's check out the flutter and wow settings. Yeah, so I don't mind that right there. Let's try it out in the mix. And I'm just going to pan this over this way a little bit and turn it down again. Let's hear what it all sounds like.
All right, now I have one more instrument on here. It's a Solina string instrument that I've got going on. And let's just try this out, hear what it sounds like. All right, I think I like that right there. Let's put it on. Yeah, so that is the tape Mellofy plugin. Like I said, there's some stuff down here at the bottom. You have tape catch up, so you can change it from fast forward style or instant. And then you have this stereo width here that you can turn on to create more stereo width. There's also a bypass down here and here's a bypass up here as well. And you have some levels of undo over here. Now check out a project that he mixed using only Arturia plugins by clicking the video on the screen. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for Audio Tech TV. I'm Zane, keep creating and we'll talk soon.